Welcome to the dig site named Jehovah Shama, a Hebrew name of God. So let's get digging. Let's begin reading our second statement of Jesus. Are you ready? John chapter 8, verse 12. Jesus says, I am the light of the world. What did Jesus mean when he said, I am? I here is emphatically stated, declaring strongly. His existence is always present. You can see the Greek number here, 1510, means past, present, and future. Let's continue. Dusting off the Greek word, 5457, called phos. We find a familiar definition for light here. It means to shine or make manifest, like fire or light. Yet look here, part of the definition here says fire. Well, in order to make fire, it takes action to start burning. This word, fire, is a verb, an action word. You need sparks to set off a fire to ignite, to kindle and trigger excitement, to provoke thought, to stir up a flame. That flame Jesus stimulated true sight and made heavenly things visible. How does light, being a verb, show action? What does it take to lighten or shine? Rays spread out far and wide. Rays spread warmth. They radiate and glow and sparkle and twinkle like stars. They glitter and shimmer off of water. We see how Jesus displayed these actions. Jesus was very noticeable by showing his acts of love, his compassion, and his caring for others. This action was very obviously seen, so much so that people would walk for miles to see him. Jesus appeared strangely different from others around him, and people saw a genuine love that they gravitated towards. Have you heard of actions speaking louder than words? Jesus showed and spoke loudly through the actions that he portrayed by how he expressed his thoughts in the way he lived. Jesus displayed and demonstrated for everyone to see how beautiful life can be expressed. To finish off this verse, it reads, Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but have the light of life. To walk is to make progress. Therefore, we can conclude from this verse that Christians are meant to grow in holiness and to mature in faith as they follow Jesus. He has a credible and obvious witness in the world. He was a witness that shows us how to be faithful, God-honoring, trustworthy, sincere, earnest, and honest in all that we do. We see that light is a metaphor for righteousness and goodness. Let's continue dusting off our next exhibit, 2B. We find the Greek word 2889 for world. And we see cosmos. When you think of cosmos, what do you think of? Do you think of, of stars or solar system? Well, that sounds reasonable. But let's take a closer look. Think decoration and adorning. When I think of decoration, I think of flowers that beautify and make 
place is attractive. I think of butterflies that flutter and dance. And I think of birds that sing beautiful songs. This orderly arrangement was created by Jesus' creativeness for the world's inhabitants. You and me. Here's just a glimpse of what he created. It is a decoration. This world is a decorated impression of Jesus' abilities. Remember, Jesus came into this world because Satan became proud and wanted to rule this beautiful world. But Satan's pride disfigured it with thorns, thistles, rust, fungus, and mold that can show themselves in what? A lot of what you see today. Hate, bitterness, anxiety, covetousness, and lust. The good news is when the light of Christ enters, those dark corners and shadows, the darkness fades and you see beauty again. Yes, beauty. Jesus is that light and that sparkle that brings beauty and hope to this lost dark world. We need more good news today, don't we? More than ever? When that light of Christ enters the dark corners and shadows, they fade and you see beauty again. Jesus is that light and that sparkle. Jesus brings beauty and hope to anyone who follows him. He lights up the path to guide you he came and demonstrated how to live and love. Without Jesus shining his light in you to see the way, you will live in darkness where you stumble into the landmines of sin, doing what seems right and where there is no joy and peace. Are you looking for peace and joy, the right place is in Jesus. The time is now, the time is today. Please don't wait. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope today's digging site brightened up your day. Jesus lights up my life and I pray he lights up yours as well. Joining me next week, will transport you into places you may not have been before. Please join me in this sing-along that just might brighten up your day further. Have fun. Searching